Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my July favorites and I have quite a bit to talk about so I'm just going to kind of jump right into it and I have, it's all across the board really. So I've just been using a lot of stuff this month because for some reason I have been filming like crazy. Even with taking a week off, I've still been vlogging and doing all sorts of stuff for my Patreon and it's just, I've been using a lot of stuff this month, so I'm actually pretty excited because I don't have any fails to talk about, which is insane. Usually I do at least one, but there's nothing bad to say about anything that I've been using. So let's just hop right into this so you can see what I've been loving in the month of July. Put it on me. Now let's start off with skincare because skincare is really, really important to me and I'm always trying new skincare. I'm always incorporating new things, just trying to find the perfect match, which I don't know if that's even attainable. I really don't. If you guys think that it is, let me know in the comments, but I think it's very hard to find a skincare, like a set skincare product and brand that you can just stick with forever, especially if you're someone like me whose skin changes. My skin changes not only with the seasons, but with my hormones and with my just surroundings and just whenever the hell it feels like changing. So I'm constantly just trying new things. So this first thing I got, it was from the W2 Beauty. It's like a K-Beauty, Korean beauty kind of brand. And this is a kind of like micell micellar water. This is their Magic All Kill Cleansing Water from April Skin. I have another thing from April Skin in my favorites as well, but it is a makeup item. I'm having such good luck with the K-Beauty stuff that I have been trying, you guys. It's just simply amazing and very, very affordable. You just have to have the patience to wait for it in the mail. That's it. So this is stuff that I will repurchase because it's just worth the wait. So this month I've used about a quarter of it. And this looks just like it's water, but if you shake it, you can really tell that there is more to it than just water. It kind of has like a soapy thing going on for it but this just gets everything off your face i have a ton of micellar waters a whole bunch of cleansing waters i've used tons of stuff but this is by far my favorite you get a huge massive amount of it but this is a little bit expensive for k-beauty stuff it's a little bit pricey but so completely worth it and you get so much in the bottle and you do not need that much i use it on a cotton round after I use a wet wipe and, you know, makeup remover wipe and I clean off my face, I go back in with some cotton rounds and this, and this just gets everything off my face. So, been loving it this month. I'm going to love it probably forever. I'm going to repurchase it. Now, my next two favorites are not something that I have been using that long, but they have shocked me enough to want to talk to you guys about them, and it is Origins, and you guys just recently seen me probably last Friday talk about these products, but I've had them for a while before that. I was just taking a break, so they kind of sat there. I was using them the whole time, and they shocked me so much, I just, I wanted to put them in here because it's really the only skincare that's really stuck out in my mind that I've been using this month, so... This one by far is the eye cream that has really just shocked me. And this is the Ginzine Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. Now, I believe that these are new, and that's why influencers sent them to me in a box. I'm pretty sure I've been seeing some larger YouTubers get this in PR as well. But you really don't hear them talk about like skincare PR too much unless it comes with a coupon code. So I just really wanted to touch on the fact that these are amazing products. So this eye cream... It definitely depuffs, which is something that I find amazing because there's so many depuffing products that I've tried on the market that just don't do anything. They don't do anything. And I know because I have some serious bags under my eyes, especially as of late and dark circles. And this is just really good. It's kind of like a weird color, a weird texture at that. It's almost like a paste, but it's shimmery and it brightens up your under eye without without looking like you put glitter under your eye, without looking like there's shimmer under there, but there is shimmer in the product. It's really, really cool. So I've been loving that. And I really, I really want to see what the long-term effects of that are going to be because the short term are so shocking. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be an amazing product. And then this, which is the Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. First off, these are a citrus product. They smell like oranges, which I usually don't like, but lately I've been finding so soothing to my stomach, so refreshing to put on, and I look forward to doing my skincare. So this is gel, so it's amazing for oily skin. It sinks right into my skin and moisturizes me without leaving me greasy. It's just 
there's nothing too amazing about it so far that I can tell. This might be something I have to use, you know, for weeks to see if there's actually a result to see. But it's something that I can stand. Something that I'm not like, ugh, it makes my face feel a little yucky. No, this is just good. It's amazing. So these two products have been very, very good to me this month. And I'm going to use them until they're gone and then make the decision if they're worth repurchasing. All right, let's move on to hair care. I have two products that really stuck out to me this month in an amazing way. The first one being from Redken, which is weird because I don't use a lot of Redken products. Um, and I don't really hear a lot of good things about Redken products either. But this one is amazing. It's their One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. Sorry, I keep thinking that my camera is shutting off because it's trying me today. Now, this is pretty cool because this has 25 benefits to it. You know, you have the leave-in 10 or whatever it's called. It has 10 benefits. You have ones that have 12. They have 14. I've never seen one that has 25. 25. And, I mean, I could read them out to you, but that's 25 things. We'll be here forever. But you can also, after the shower, which is what I do, spray it in your hair. And, you know, it's a protectant for your hair if you're going to use heating tools on your hair. Or it's just like a deep nourishing treatment if you want to leave it in and let your hair air dry. I mean... 25 different kinds of benefits we can go on all day here but if you wanted to you can also use this in the shower and rinse it out so you can use it like a conditioner almost as well so it's it's very different it's a different product that I've never seen on the market before and I've been using it for well over a month but I've just really been loving it this month and it's dude, oh, what it does for my hair is insane. So I've been loving this so much. I'm not sure how much this costs. It's probably a pretty penny for what it is, but completely worth it. So worth it. And then this next thing, drugstore. And it shocked me. This is from Garnier. This is part of their whole blends line. Look how cute it is. This is like a little honey pot. And this is their repairing mask from the Honey Treasures line. Now, I have been looking for a hair mask that beats out our Vizalia because I have to order it online and I'm just too impatient. I'm just like, Ugh. I don't want to just order one hair mask, you know, like it's just, I want to wait until I have the money to like buy like 10 of them because I love our Vizalia masks that much. And I just haven't found anything that compares. And I've tried the shampoo and conditioner of this and it's, they're so good. Like for drugstore shampoo and conditioner, it blew my mind. Blew my mind. So I was going through the like hair mask section at Walmart and I saw this and I was instantly like, you're coming home. You're coming home. We're going to try you out. I didn't know they made a hair mask in this, this line. So I have been using it. It's almost half gone. I have been using so much of this. Oh, it smells so good. Kind of like shea butter and honey mixed together. It's very thick and it works so good. It's nowhere near as good as the Arvizalia. I have to be honest about that. But for a drugstore hair mask, this is the best one I've ever tried. Ever. So if you're in the market for a hair mask, try this one. You will love it. You will love it. And the, another thing I need to say about this is a lot of the hair masks that I've tried from the drugstore, they make my back break out because I am prone to back knee, which is not cute. And when I use certain hair masks that are on the cheaper side, it does tend to break out my back. This doesn't. This doesn't do that. So, A+. plus. Alright, let's move on to makeup. The first thing is from April Skin, and this is their eyeliner. Now, what are you called? No Smudge Eye Doll Brush Pen Liner in Brown. And I didn't know if I would use this because of the fact that it was a brown eyeliner and it's felt tip. So I was like, you know what? I don't know if this is something that I'm actually going to use. But I've been doing a lot of warm toned, like toned down, like looks, eye looks if that made sense but and a brown liner would have gone amazing with it so I wanted to try this out and it actually works so good it works so good now the reason why I don't like felt tips is because when I try to do my actual eyelid with it it skips because I have wrinkly eyelids and I have way too much skin all up in here this is so wet that all I have to do is almost like stamp it and it just causes this perfect line on my eyelid so I was like okay that's easy now let's try the wing so easy so easy this isn't as dark as I would like it to be but it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and perfect for very toned down warm brownish eye looks so I have been loving this for a felt tip it shocked me shocked me so definitely something that I will consider to repurchase when it's gone because 
it's good and another thing I want to say about it is the no smudge claim is true it's almost kind of coming off as a waterproof thing to me even though it removes very easily with a makeup remover wipe it still stays because my eyes water like crazy and it stays where I put it so that's definitely a huge plus now for my lips this month I have to go with Belfier Cosmetics like they blew me out of the water I did just I think last week or the week before did a sponsor for them I love Belfier. I just can't tell you guys enough. I'm lucky enough that they will pay me to promote them, but they wouldn't have to. And I hope they never watch that. <laughs> you hear me say that. But it's just, their products are crazy. And I don't know why more influencers are not talking about them and promoting them and showcasing them. Because their products are so good and I know that before they were really pricey but they've really toned down their prices and I just they're now more affordable than other popular items out there on the market that are popular on YouTube but they're better quality so I'm just like why are we not like yelling Belvier from the rooftops but I tried out five of their liquid lipsticks I'm sure that that's all that they came out with so far they are coming out with more products and, I mean, the more people start buying from them, the more products they will make. And believe me, whoever makes their products for them is right on the money with the formulas. So, three out of the five lipsticks I have been, like, stuck to this month. The first one being Dahlia. Oh, such a beautiful mauve, like a darker mauve. This is gorgeous gorgeous and then camellia which is one of the first ones i tried is more of a nudish color which is just perfect for my skin tone and then this last one iris the orange and it's like a brick reddish orange i love colors like this it reminds me of kathleen light's miami heat i think it was called from ofra it's almost exactly the same color and I ran out of that one I used that whole liquid lipstick up of Kathleen Light so these three have rocked my world so if you were looking to buy from Belfier and you just didn't know where to go I would recommend these three now the next couple of things they're so expensive and I hate even talking about things that are so expensive but I just it is what it is it's what I've been using okay I've been pampering myself a little bit here and these are Kevin Aquan products I oh my goodness Kevin Aquan has just been like giving it to me this month the first thing is the concealers that they sent me over I haven't had a chance to show you guys in a get ready with me yet how these apply I cannot wait to show you guys how these apply I have been using them all week and the week before that too but I wasn't filming that week these are so good and I don't know if they're out yet they're on the Sephora site but it says coming soon these are $30 a piece and that's why I'm just like ah $30 a piece for a concealer like you're pushing it you've pushed it no you've pushed it but then I used it I used it and I'm just like the Tarte Shape Tape was like my favorite you know like that's one that really caught my eye these are so much better these are so much better than the shape tape like the formula on these are amazing and this one is the corrector this is kind of like a peachy salmon color and then this is the lightest shade that they carry which is super light ec01 and that's what i use now these are called the supernatural concealers the etherealist supernatural concealers so good you guys they're so i they're creamy. They're super pigmented. You only need a tiny bit and it goes such a long way. You can use them to highlight, to contour. You can use them in so many different ways. But the the way that they make my under eye look and feel, it's not crepey. It doesn't crease. It's, it's just amazing. It's simply amazing. I don't want to sit here and rave about them forever. But they're worth it. That's all I can say is if you have the money, which honestly I wouldn't I wouldn't have $30 to spend on a concealer but if you do check out the Kevin Aquan concealers when they come out you guys they will blow your mind and the next thing that I've been loving from Kevin Aquan what exactly is this called the contour book volume 2 the art of sculpting and defining they sent me this a while ago in PR and I tried it out I really did like it I really did like it and then I kind of just put it aside and stopped using it because it's just they're so expensive Kevin Aquan is so expensive that it's hard for me to sit here and promote them because I know that so many of us can't afford it and the only reason why I have it is because they send it to me for PR you know so it doesn't seem fair to push it on you guys when I can't even afford to purchase it myself 
but I have to tell you when I've been using something. I have to be honest, you know, and what I feel about it. And I've literally been using these and, oh, loving them so much. Loving them so much. Now, I don't use the cream products up here. It's just very intimidating. But I love the powder products. But what I've been using this month out of this it blew me away is the eyeshadow. <coughs> Whoa. Let's try that again. What I've been loving out of this is the eyeshadows, which I'm using today to kind of create a soft brownish look that's toned down for this red lip because you can't be going crazy on the eyes when you have a bright red lip. So these eyeshadows are the best I've ever tried out of anything. Literally anything, you guys. Any palette that I've ever used, and I've used luxury, like luxury palettes. They are so pigmented. They're not that powdery. They stay on the eyes. They blend out like a dream. I mean... Does Kevin Aquan have their own eyeshadow palettes, like just a full-on eyeshadow palette? Because it's something that I think would be well worth it over, like, say, Natasha Denona, which you're paying a crazy insane amount for. And I just, I think that these would have to be so much better quality, to be honest. Um, I can't really say that for a fact. I've never tried her shadows, but I've seen a ton of reviews. And from what people that I trust say about it, I think that these would be so much better. Like, so much better. I mean, they... It's just straight up pigment. Just straight up pigment. Just right out of it. Straight up pigment, you guys. Like, they are blow your mind. Blow your mind. And the mattes, like, oh, I'm going to mess up my pants. But they're just so beautiful. And they just, they blend out like they're being blown out. You know, like, very, very beautiful. So, this is definitely worth it. And I've heard a lot of you, when I first talked about this, say that you had it and you absolutely loved it. So... It's definitely a good one. All right, a couple more products left. The next one is a setting powder, and this is from It Cosmetics. This is their pressed version, which gets super dirty. There's no cleaning that. But this is so good. I had the loose version. I loved it until I found out that it has horrible flashback. Made that mistake like four times in a video, or in four videos, before I learned my lesson and passed it on. Because... It's really good unless you film or take pictures with it. Then it kind of goes a little crazy on you. So I got this from We Love Dot Makeup when they sent me this welcome box with it in it. And I was like, oh, thank you. Because I heard that this is so much better. And it is. This is so much better. There is, I've had no problems with powder being shown on a video or a camera, you know, picture, anything like that. I just, there's no flashback with this. It's easier. It's less mess. It's just perfect. So this is one of the best setting powders ever, ever, ever. It Cosmetics is just where it's at. I love them. And lastly, this is probably the most expensive product. This also was given to me by We Love Dot Makeup, and I honestly didn't even know that they were high end. I never heard of them. Never heard of them. I'd been using it. I loved it, and I went to find out where it was, like where they sold it, and found it on Sephora, and was like, oh. Okay, so this is the Set and Refresh Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray from Dermablend. I didn't know who Dermablend was. I had never heard of them. This is the best setting spray ever. Now, I love Scandinavia, which is also very expensive. This is more expensive. Go figure. However, this is like concrete to your face. You set your face with this, and it doesn't matter what you go through, your makeup is staying. It's stain. This is really, it's got an amazing spray on it too, you know, so if you have it back like this and you spray it, you only need a couple of sprays so it doesn't go, like, it goes very far is what I'm trying to say. Like, this little bottle goes very far, lasts a while. But, oh, I just, this is good. That's so good. And I'm just like, ah! everything that I want to talk about except for the hair mask is like expensive stuff and I'm really sorry for that, but it's what I've been using and it's been working so well. And they're just products that are worth saving for. If you have the money, then just go buy them because they're just all so amazing. And I'm glad that I have them. The sad truth of it is, is that I'm not the one that can afford to repurchase them. I can only use what's sent to me. And since I'm not a big YouTuber, I only get things sent to me once. So <laughs> I will cherish them while I have them. But if you have the funds, I will leave everything I talked about down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this long-ass favorites video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Put it on me.